Good morning, children. Or maybe good afternoon. Or maybe good evening. How are you today? Are you sad? Or are you angry at somebody? Or maybe are you happy? Because I am very happy. Because today we are going to start with unit number five. All right, and this is all about living and non-living things. It's going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, are you ready to begin? Yes or no? Are you ready? Okay, so let's go. So the first thing we need to know is the pronunciation of living thing and the pronunciation of non-living thing. Can you repeat living thing with me? Living thing, very good. And can you repeat non-living thing? Mm, can you repeat it again, please? Non-living thing. Perfect. Now your pronunciation is fantastic. So I'm going to introduce you to two of my friends. One is a living thing and the other one is a non-living thing. And here they are. He is Canelita and here he is Fluffy. Canelita. Say hello to Canelita. Hello, Canelita. And say hello to Fluffy. Hello, Fluffy. Good job. Canelita is a living thing. And Fluffy is a non-living thing. Can you repeat with me? Canelita is a living thing. Very good. And Fluffy is a non-living thing. Fantastic! And now we will see what is necessary for Canelita and what is necessary for Fluffy. One is for living things and one is for non-living things, okay? So food is necessary for living things, for example, for Canelita. Alright, food is necessary for living things. Also, water is necessary for living things. Can you repeat, please? Food and water. Food and water, fantastic. And the air is necessary for living things. All right. There are three things that are necessary. One two, three. Food. Can you repeat with me or after me? Food. Excellent. Water. Good job. And air. Good job. Now Canelita has everything in it. Let's go now with Fluffy. Fluffy is a non-living thing, so do you think that food is necessary for Fluffy? Yes or no? No, it's not necessary for Fluffy. And do you think that water is necessary for Fluffy? Yes or no? No. The water is not necessary for Fluffy, because Fluffy is a non-living thing. Okay? And what about the air? Is the air necessary for Fluffy or not? No, absolutely not. The air is not necessary for Fluffy. Good job. So, living things, like Canelita, need water, sorry, water, food and air. And non-living things don't need, don't need anything. 
Nothing is necessary for them, okay? Now we're going to play a game. Do you want to play with me? Yes? All right. This game is a classification game. All right, we're going to sort out some things into living things and non-living things. But first, we need to know what living things need is necessary for them. Living things need water. Can you repeat with me, please? Water. Mm -hmm. Food. Mm -hmm. And air. Good job. And non-living things don't need water. No, no. Non-living things don't need uh, food. No, no. And non-living things don't need air. No, no. Now, pay attention, please. Now I'm going to ask you things and you've got to answer. Yes, it does or no, it doesn't. Okay? As you can see here, you can answer yes, it does or no, it doesn't. Okie dokie. So let's start. The first thing we have is a, an orange tree. Oh dear! Does this orange tree need water? Yes, it does or no, it doesn't? Yes, it does. Does the tree need food? Yes, it does or no, it doesn't? Yes, it does. Remember, the soil and the sunlight is the food that they need, or what they need to make food. And does the tree need air? Yes, it does, or no, it doesn't? Yes, it does. So, this tree is a living thing or a non-living thing? Good job! This tree is a living thing because it needs water, food and air. Fantastic! You did it really well. Now, what about this tree? Mm, this is a paper tree. Do you think that this paper tree needs water? Yes, it does or no, it doesn't? No, it doesn't. Does it need food? No, it doesn't. And does it need air? No, it doesn't. So, is it a living thing or a non-living thing? Good job, it's a, it's a non-living thing. Fantastic! So, we have two points. Good job. What about this? This is the Victoria ship. Does the Victoria ship need water? Mm, it needs water to, to navigate, to, to sail, but not really to live. Uh, no, it doesn't. Does the Victoria ship need food? Yes, it does. Or no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't need any food. And does the Victoria ship need air? Yes, it does, or no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. So, is it a living thing, or is the Victoria ship a non-living thing? Good job. It's a non-living thing. Hmm, you're doing it very good. What about this? It's a penguin. Oh, I can see the penguin really weird, but it's a penguin, I promise. Does this penguin need water? Yes, it does or no, it doesn't? Yes, it does. Does the penguin need food? Yes, it does. And does the penguin need uh, air? Yes, it does. So, is it living? a non-living thing. Good job, it's a living thing. 
Oh, now I can see the penguin really well. <laughs> Let's go with this. It's a rock. Do you remember rocks? Hmm, I do remember rocks from the classroom. And does this rock need water? Yes, it does, or no, it doesn't? No, it doesn't. Does the rock need food? Yes, it does, or no, it doesn't? No, it doesn't. And does the rock need air? No, it doesn't. So, this rock is a living thing or a non-living thing? It's a living thing. Very good. No, it's not a living thing, sorry. I was joking, it's a non-living thing. You were right, very good. It's a no, Rafa, it's not a living thing. And finally, we have this. This is a cat, a baby cat, which is called kitten. Is this kitten a living thing or a non-living thing? Let's see. Does the cat need water, yes or no? Yes, it does. Does the cat need food? Yes, it does or no, it doesn't. Yes, it does. And does the cat need air? Yes, it does or no, it doesn't. Yes, it does. So, is the cat a living thing or a non-living thing? Fantastic! This cat is a living thing. And it's very cute, isn't it? <laughs> Good job. So now it's the time for you to go to the web page here and to play game number one. All right. Here you can play the game and say if, if the things are living things or non-living things. Okay, it's very easy. You skip the ad and click on Comenzar and here you have the questions. It says, it is a living thing or a non-living thing? Oh my gosh, never. You just click on Comenzar. Is this living or a non-living thing? And you just click on living or non-living thing. A rock is a non-living thing, all right? So you click on Siguiente, which is next, and continue. All right, I hope you have fun, bye bye crocodiles, or just a moment because I have something ready for you. You just have to say, see you later alligator. Oh, an alligator is this, it's very similar to a crocodile. All right, in Spanish we call it um, caimán. So, see you later, alligator. Oh, an alligator! Be careful! It's a living thing, but it's very dangerous. See you later, alligator.